I'm Beck, and food's my life. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the recipe to my amazing chocolate rumbles. Coming right up. Okay, so we're going to make some rumbles. Now, this recipe is definitely going to be a hit among your friends and family. When I was growing up, rumble recipes were always made on wheat bix, and to me they were always really dry. This recipe, I guarantee, is going to be really chocolatey and moist. So, the first step is to make a chocolate cake. Now that doesn't have to be hard, all I've done is I've used a really cheap chocolate cake packet mix. This is like 80 cents from Woolies. So I've already made the cake, um, and by the way, if you're gluten free, then go ahead and make a gluten-free chocolate cake packet mix and there you go, your rumbles are instantly gluten-free. Um, so this is a really fun bit, so what you need to do is take the cake and just crumble it. So pop it in your mixing bowl and then just use your fingers to break it all up. So I know you can't see in the bowl but we're just breaking it up to a fine crumb. Now this will become roughly four cups of cake crumbs. All right, once you've done that, as you can see, once you've done that, we are going to add to the mix one cup of desiccated coconut. half a cup of cocoa powder and I always make sure I sift all my flowers and powders just it, you always get a better end result if you sift everything okay next this is where I add and this is actually something I learned off my mum about half a cup of sultanas this just gives it that rum and raisin kind of feel. And it adds moisture. So they're not going to be dry. Okay, so just give that a mix so far. And then, another little tip from my mum that I learnt is to add a couple, maybe one, one good teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just sprinkle it all over and of course the rum so this is totally up to you how the strength is up to you usually people generally in in recipes they call for two tablespoons I like to use three So, give this a really good mix at this point. It smells fantastic. And now, we add to it one tin of condensed milk. This is just going to bind it all together. So now it's just about mixing it all in and it's about getting the right consistency. So at this point, if you've mixed it all up and you think it's still a little bit too wet, just add some more desiccated coconut to dry it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm done mixing in all my ingredients and you know that it's the right consistency when it, it can hold its shape. Okay. So when it comes together and it can hold its shape, you know those balls are going to stay in shape. The next stage, of course, is to make your balls. Roll your balls, I should say. So, for this I like to grab a teaspoon and just a teaspoon at a time. Roll it up. Toss it in coconut and straight into my serving bowl. 
Okay, so I've rolled them all and look at the amount I got out of one batch. That's just amazing. I was pretty generous with my teaspoons as well. So if you made them smaller, you'd get even more. So um, don't forget now, refrigerate them for a little while just so they can get a little bit harder. They're a little bit soft at the moment. Keep them refrigerated when you're not eating them. So now it's your turn. If you like my recipe, don't forget to check out the show notes down below. And if you like what I do and you want to see what I'm up to, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.